Hello everyone, today I will introduce you some interesting and also common Vietnamese sentences that you may use in Vietnam. First of all, when you come to Vietnam, you may want to tell hello to Vietnam, right? So, how to say hello to it? It's xin chào. Again, xin chào. And xin chào. Again. And the second one is when you want to give thanks to anyone, you have to say like cảm ơn. Again. Cảm ơn and cảm ơn And the next one, when you have to express your apology to someone, let's say Xin lỗi Xin lỗi and Xin lỗi And the next one, when you have to uh, say goodbye to someone or something, let's say Tạm biệt biệt again that biệt well we're turning to another situation what have you ever wondered that what please means in Vietnamese in Vietnamese please means làm ơn làm ơn and again làm ơn and when you need someone else help you need to say in Vietnamese like Giúp tôi Giúp tôi Again Giúp tôi It means Please help me And now we'll turn to How to ask the direction For example How to get to a hospital You need to say Đến bệnh viện Đi đường nào Hospital means Bệnh viện Bệnh viện Ok, now we turn to another public place like Police station How to get to the police station here? Đến đồn công an Đi đằng nào Police station means đồn công an Đồn công an Okay, now we we'll turn to motorbike repair shop. How to get to the motorbike repair shop? Đến quán sửa xe đi đường nào? Motorbike shop repairing means quán sửa xe. Quán sửa xe. And how about embassy? How to get to the embassy? For example, Embassy means Đại sứ quán Đến Đại sứ quán Đi đường nào Embassy Đại sứ quán Ok, how about the petrol station? You need to get petrol from the petrol station and you get You need to ask Chạm xăng Đi đường nào Petrol station means Chạm xăng Chạm When you buy something, you need to know its price, right? You need to ask how much. So how much means bao nhiêu in Vietnamese. Again, bao nhiêu. Like bao nhiêu. Okay, also you have to uh, like want to cut the price of the items down, right? You have to ask the shopper like giảm giá. Again, giảm giá. That's it. And the next one, when you get into a restaurant and you want to tell the owner of that restaurant that you are the vegetarian, and you should say in Vietnamese like, tôi ăn chay. It means that you are a vegetarian. Again, tôi ăn chay. And Another situation like you don't know how to use dog meat and you say like Tôi không ăn thịt chó Again, Tôi không ăn thịt chó 
when you want to say you love something or someone like I love traveling I love traveling right you say in Vietnamese like tôi yêu something again tôi yêu I love traveling and now turn into another interesting subject about numbers in Vietnamese we also have numbers from 1 to 10 so let's count 1 1 1 2 2 2 3 3 3 again 3 4 4 4 5 5 5 6 6 6 7 8 7 8 7 7 8 8 8 9 9 9 10 10 10 Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. Okay, that's all. Thanks.